Hello everyone, and welcome back to Blockhood, where we have finished our tutorials. That was the last episode, if you're interested in seeing them. And now, I think we're going to start with the story. So there are stories and challenges here in Blockhood. I didn't really know which one I wanted to start with, but I think we're going to go ahead and start with chapter one of our story. I really don't know what to expect from it, so it's going to be an adventure for everyone involved. I have a whole bunch of dust on my screen. Why? Why? How did that even get there? Apparently the story takes a while to load, but that's okay. Everything's gonna be fine. But I really hope you guys are excited. I am. Um, it's been a few days since I last recorded Blockhood, because I've been sick. Which is definitely not ideal. Um, okay, so we've got... Oh my gosh, I got stuff on my keyboard too. I don't want that to go away. Um, childhood means simplest- oh god. Click and drag the mouse wheel. Hmm. There's a person here. Look, they're there. Hey. Oh hey there, welcome to the hood. I'm building my own little hideout out here. You wanna help? It'll be fun, we could install some new ramps, add an extension to the treehouse. There's a pig apparently somewhere. Whoa! First time I've heard that sound out here. Come on, let's see what it is. Oh, it is running. Oh snap, I forgot I didn't finish this walkway. Um, can be built in create mode. Enter create mode by clicking the highlighted button below. So we need it to go right. Here. Right? Select the corridor in the public. I did already. The block selected because will show ghosts of the block you're trying to build. The ghost will be green in this space you can build on red where you can't. Nice, thanks for the help. So this seems to be like an extended tutorial, which I'm all for, because the tutorial itself, while it did teach you some really important things, I think had a lot that it didn't teach you. So I'm excited. Yep, here's the... Oh God. I don't remember all this bamboo being here. Oh no, the bamboo. Doesn't look like I can squeeze through. You're pretty handy. Alright, we need another corridor. The controls are very sensitive. Sweet, that's perfect. It's a wild pig. The pig is running! We've got a runner! Guess I was too loud. Enter inspect mode. Inspect the grove. There it goes! Very sensitive. Hey there, furry little dude. How you doing? Oh, hey. Can't do petting sessions right now. I'm busy. Ah. You can talk? <laughs> sure, if you can listen. I've never met a talking pig before. Where is it? Where is it? Do you have a name? What are you looking for? I'm looking for more of this tasty, crunchy thing I found yesterday. Tasty, crunchy thing like Parker's, Parker's pretzels? Do those grow on trees and fall off when they're ripe? No, but they're still pretty tasty. Not what I'm looking for then. Darn. Wait, what'd you just call me? I don't really see much here besides grass. What do you see? Dude, you probably got a good view up there. Inspect the space that the piglet's on. It's a piglet? Just look like some water and grass to me. I'm totally smelling the crunchy, tasty thing right now. It's not grass. Maybe if we knew what the tasty thing was, we'd know where to find it. But what kind of stuff would be tasty and crunchy in this hood? Every hood has resources being input and output by its blocks. The research panel over here can show you all the resources in your hood. Open the resource panel by clicking the highlighted button. Okay. Water, fresh air, leisure. Acorns? Maybe it's acorns you're smelling? Acorns. We currently have zero. Are they round with a crunchy shell and delicious creamy filling? Not sure about the last part, but sure. 
Let's help Parker find where these acorns are. I'm not sure, like, uh, is Parker okay with being called Parker? Okay. Inspect till you find what puts out acorns. So it has to be a specific tree. Is it this tree? Wait, that's it. This tree, that tree totally smells like acorns. Okay, we found it then. Oh, they're running. What are all these flowers? It doesn't look like it's doing too well. It's decayed. It won't produce its sweet, sweet acorn goodness anymore. Might not have gotten enough water. When blocks can't consume their input, they'll gradually decay until they fall apart. How could you not give enough water to the acorn tree? Oh, Parker is so sad. Don't worry, we can fix this. We'll build a sprinkler to water the tree. Different inventories can be different kinds of blocks. Open the production inventory. Find the sprinkler and click on its icon to select it. You'll find it on the first tab of the production panel. Oh, near the oak tree. The tree still looks dead and it's not dropping any acorns. Probably means we have to replace the oak with a new one. Okay, I'm really having trouble telling which block. I am about to destroy. So sad, you deserved better oak tree. There, there, Parker, we're picking out a new one right now. Make sure it's the right tree. They're not all the same. Come on, acorns, acorns, acorns. Hold up, dude. You need to give time for the oak to produce. Every block has a production rate. Inspect it. You'll see how long the block will take to output. Okay. So we can see our rate of production here. Mmm, delicious. Really likes his acorns. Let's plant a few more oaks just to be sure Parker doesn't run out. Seven total. Okay, we need many oaks. So how do I know that I can build it? So I'm assuming we want it all to be like kind of near the sprinkler. Ish. I don't really know for sure though. So we need two more and I don't want them to not get any water. So we might need to demolish some. Can't demolish that. Because, see, now we've accidentally built one up on another level. And I don't know what to do about that. Let's see, should we build some back towards, like, our place? I mean, there's space over here for some trees. So many oaks, so many acorns. I'm living in crunchy, nutty paradise. Glad you approved, Parker. And you, thanks for dropping by and helping out here. This has been really fun running around building the hood, hunting for acorns. We'll make this place paradise, Parker, you and me together. A place for kids and boars to enjoy. I like the sound of that. I cannot click save hood. So I'm curious, are these guys getting water? Like, sometimes it's enough and sometimes it isn't, and I don't understand. There. Now hopefully you guys are getting more, right? So I think the 1.2 is what it needs. If it's green, it's getting it. And if it's red, then it's not. That seems to make logical sense to me. Producing resources, not producing yet. One of these was red. So this one's not getting enough water. So it'll slowly decay. But why can't I save the hood? 
I don't understand. I mean, we'll click the arrow. Now can we save it? Nope. We did get an achievement for the first chapter. So is that like all it is? Do we now go to chapter two? Oh, no, 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 it doesn't. Maybe. You'd be surprised how much in the neighborhood you can perceive and experience when you're looking for unique sorts of beauty. Yeah, I'm walking to the site right now. So this looks like a different person. Oh, the hair is similar. So maybe it's the same person and they just grew a beard. No, I'll be fine. I used to come here all the time as a kid. I mean, because look. They still have our oak trees. Ah. Oh, hey there. Nice to see you again in this hood. So it's the same person. Where is Boar? Has Boar died over the years that we've been gone? Poor Parker. I liked him. Guess what? I'm finally working on an official neighborhood building project. Oh, wait, no, there he is. Oh, good. Oh, good. I got worried about you, Parker. Hey dudes, Parker, you made it. I was hoping to catch up with you here. I'm only here to make sure you don't, two don't miss up any more oak trees. Fair enough. Most of the hood is still pretty wild, though, just like back when we used to play here as kids. We have to build some apartments here so some new so the new neighborhood can move in. What's wrong with the way it is right now? A sounder of boards will be right at home here. Humans need buildings to live in, Parker. They don't just lay out in open grass like you their loss <laughs> oh I think I saw one of those apartments you're talking about on my way here it was smelling kind of oh. funny really where was this just past the first oak tree planted follow me oh. whoa some goof started building an apartment out here and it's fallen apart it's not even accessible there's no path to get in Yeah, a nest you can't get into is no good at all. Most blocks need access or else they will decay. Triangles around a block are where it can give or receive access. They're called access edges. Select the apartment again try rotating it by pressing R. That's right, we can do that. Uh, oh, it looks worse from this angle. Um, it rotates with the apartment. The block's access edges will be colored red if they're unconnected, green if connected. Well, we're building a neighborhood, so we might as well start by fixing this apartment. Enter create mode. We should lay down a proper path to the entrance. Simple corridor should work. Huh. Cool, now that we've got proper access, we can replace this apartment with a new one. Enter clear mode. Build a new small apartment. Press R before clicking it to set its orientation and make sure it's accessible. <laughs> Great, good as new. The nest still looks pretty lonely, though. Where's the nature? Where's the open space? Where are the acorns? People don't need acorns as much as you do, Parker. But I guess adding a tree couldn't hurt. Yes! Um, select a tree and place it next to the small apartment. Well, we only have one kind of tree, it seems. <laughs> that looks pretty good. The spiraling blue arrow appears to indicate positive synergy between the two blocks. Inspect the apartment again to see its synergy. So is this it? It'll freshen the air and open up space for the neighborhood, too. So, because we can see synergy is there, but it, it's not green or red, and I'm a little still confused about that. Okay, but it's good. Blocks that synergize positively together will improve each other's outputs and or production rates. If a lot of people are moving in, shouldn't we plant more trees for them? You think they'll need more than one? Wait, this isn't about acorns again, is it? Seriously, dude, one tree's a lot to share between a whole neighborhood. Yep, we'll need to build more blocks that support our neighborhood. Once the resource pan open the resource panel to see the hood's current uh -huh. resource balance. Wow, we're gonna run out of resources for all these homes. 
Um, so these are production trends. So electricity is low. Wheat is still okay. Red shows how fast the resource is running out. Green shows how fast the resource is growing. We need more electricity and water before we continue building. Click on the electricity. Click on electricity in the resource panel. Selecting a resource will highlight inventory blocks that input or output that resource. Um, so blocks with an I in their highlight will input electricity. Blocks with O will output it. Make the electricity turn positive by building blocks that will output electricity. So either a solar panel or a windmill. There we go. Is it positive now? It's now neutral. Yay, it's positive, it's green! I, I did. Do I need to build all of them? Like, was I supposed to also build this? I guess so. That solves our power problems. We still need water, though. We could pay money to import water into the hood through water towers. Solve the shortage in the hood by building water towers. Alright, we just need those two, currently. Um, can we also build a well? I mean, it didn't tell me to. But, like, water's now fine. So I don't know why. Maybe it just takes a while to update. Maybe they have to produce the water first. I don't really know what's going on. Won't we build another one? That's better. Now the only thing we're running low on is money. Oh, yeah. Wait, what's money? Is it something you humans eat? Money keeps a lot of blocks running and maintained like our corridors and electricity generators. Does it grow on trees? No, they're not acorns, Parker. That's a shame. Now what could we build to generate more money? Um, find blocks that output money in inventories. There aren't any that output money. Oh, a corner store. Corner stores are a simple way to earn money in the hood. So do we need more than one again? And do we need more? Oh, we've got an agent unlocked. Consumer. Okay, it seems silly to build three corner stores. But there we go. Oh, they do not synergize well being that close together. Now our consumer is negative. So should we clear this out? Let's clear that out. And so we can build another one somewhere else. Like maybe over here. Is that good enough? Do we still need a fourth one? Because our money is fine. So this outputs consumerism. But it's still not saying that we're done with corner stores. Are we done now? Oh, now our electricity is negative. Oh. I could have done this a while ago. Whoops-a-doodles. They use labor and consumers produced by apartments to produce money. Uh -huh. 
course, there's a carry all sorts of everyday things than a neighborhood needs. And it looks like some people are already starting to move in. I think we're on the right track to building a stable neighborhood. I imagine there'd be more leaves and fewer boxes. Well, we still need to build other apartments. We'll need extra stores and electricity as well to keep everything running. Don't forget about extra trees and water, too. Okay. Build ten small apartments. Support them with positive production trends for electricity, water, fresh air, and leisure. That's a lot, man. That's a lot, a lot. Why can we not save our hood? I don't know. But I am going to end this episode here. Uh, if you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And as always, I'm the Purple Peggy Sis, and I'll see you guys in the next